Hello, Gemini. Thank you very much for tuning in to your general read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. For supportive oracle cards, I'm using Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. What do we have? Okay. Gemini. We're going in, like, I feel like we're going through three doors. That's my first thing thing I'm connecting to. Three doors. Okay, so I'm seeing three doors. What are we doing with this whole three door thing? Oh, that, okay. Three doors. I'm getting a three door thing, so let's see what we're doing with that. The first door, aka the past, but like it's almost like the first door you're walking through to where you're going to end up. So this first door you have the the hanged man on your side and I almost feel like this door is in front of you but it's kinda like you have the world here in the environment plus the five of cups it's kinda like the loss of something is kinda how I'm feeling and I'm getting like the self-reflection here is also right with it in the sense of like I feel like for a lot of you, somebody passed or like somebody close to you, which could, in my view, an animal is definitely included in that. But it could also be like you lost something like a job, just to be fair. But like person, pet, job, could be, you lost something. Um, I'm even getting some like this thought like through like natural disaster or something like that, you might have lost a home. Something very significant to you, though. So if it was a pet, like, it broke your heart when you lost a pet. If, if, it's, if it is a pet. Which can easily be for people. Easily. Um, it can even be a valuable possession in the sense of, like, you had an heirloom that reminded you of your mother or somebody else in your family and you lost it or it got destroyed. Something like that to where when this loss happened, you can't get it back. And it very much, it bothers you, it upsets you, it causes you to think about things, you, you, it really is a painful loss, but I'm getting, there's nothing you can do to stop it. You've got the hanged man, there's nothing you can do to stop it or change it or fix it. Whatever it was, and if it is an heirloom, and I feel like for somebody it is, it had a major emotional impact for you, like you couldn't get over it. It's just like it really bothered you. And I know people get very emotionally attached to those type of things because of a memory or it reminds them of somebody or it makes them feel that love they had with somebody. So I don't think that's bad. I personally don't. But like that's how it's connecting. Like it emotionally broke your heart that you lost whatever you lost. But this is the first door because like when this happened, it threw things up in the air. And like whatever it was that got lost, it left an opening. Uh, is what I'm getting. Because that's your next door. First door is you, you were forced through, you lost someone's a person, a job, an item, but it broke your heart. It broke your heart, whatever it was. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. The next thing, the next door, the second door, I don't know why we're using doors, but I feel like I need to. Because I feel like what they're explaining this, the reason we're using doors is like basically the first door opened and you were pushed through it. There's nothing you could get. You had to go through it. Like the first door opened and you were kicked through it is kind of how it feels. That's how that one feels. Rude, but that's how it feels. The second door is kind of like you had nowhere else to go. So you went through the next door. I don't know why we're using this door analogy. It's, I'm still lost on you. That's fine though. Um, the Four of Swords is on your side. What's happening in the environment is the moon. You have the void here. Like, it's almost like it, it, you're having a hard time letting go. Whatever it was, like, I can understand if it was a person, especially, like, when you lose somebody who means a lot to you, and you're just like, that's just, that's a void. There's nothing, there's, no one can fill that. Like, especially, like, if it was a very close connection, a very unique connection. I'm not going to go down on the whole, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? If this is connecting, you know what that means. Like the, it can't be filled. It can't be corrected. Especially if you know somebody since childhood and you lose them, you can't, that can't be replaced. You can't replace that person. Nobody's going to know those memories. You can't, 
teach somebody those memories. You can't teach somebody that experience you went through with somebody else. It's not possible. In my opinion, it's not possible. But, you know, whatever. Um, so the void is there. You're just kind of like the Four of Swords is saying there's no way. You're just, there, that's how you're viewing it, too. I think that's why I'm feeling that way. Like, I can't feel that void. I can't relive childhood with someone else. I'm an adult now. I can't do that. It's just, I can't go through those experiences of learning going through school or whatever it was or going through this practice or whatever, whatever it was. I can't do that. It's gone. That's it. And the Four of Swords is telling me it's kind of like looking at it in that view. Like, I can't get that connection back because I can't experience those things with someone else. The, that time of life has passed. The void is here and the moon is here also saying, I don't know what I'm going to do now. I feel like I'm just going to go through the rest of life with this hole. I think this is going to get better though, so hold on. <laughs> this is the second door. And I almost feel like this is how you have to kind of like just come to terms with it. And it's almost like, it feels like this is a part of the grieving process. Like I feel like you're literally like hitting the grieving process quite hard. I don't think this is a bad way to look at things in a temporary sense because this is how you sort through the feelings. This is how you get through it. As long as it goes through its period and then it moves on, you're fine. Because uh, I do think this is more normal than not. I really do. Um, it's just like, Allowing it to move on is the is is the trick, because it shouldn't like hold you down for the rest of your life. There will be a period where you feel this way. You have to address it and go through those emotions, but it should pass to some extent. I'm not a psychologist or whatever, but that's how that's feeling right now. Now, what you have in the environment is the Ace of Pentacles. You're feeling all this going on around you, and you're just kind of like, "There's nothing I can do to fill this void." Meanwhile. Something is coming to fill that void. It's disconnected from you is what I'm getting. But what I'm getting is something is coming towards you. Whatever it may be, something is coming towards you to fill the void. It is there. You're not seeing it, but it's there. Now, especially if you're coming to this reading at this point and this is how you're feeling, like that's just, there's no way to fill that void. I will never be able to be that close to someone again based on what I went through with them. They're telling me that something is coming towards you. It will not be the exact match. It's kind of like this was this was like uh, a rhombus. You put in it was fit in the rhombus hole. It was it it was a certain color. It matched the pattern. It was perfect. They're saying you know what the shape is going to match. The pattern may not, <laughs> but you know what you can you can make it work. So don't worry. Something is coming to fill this void. It won't be exact match. It won't. It can't be. But something to help you fill that void is coming. Something that fits, something that actually does make sense in this in the puzzle. It's not going to look like it used to, but it will make sense. It will fit. It's coming. It's there. It's not going to be the exact same that you've had, but something good, something that will help you, something that will fulfill you. It's there. They're telling me, especially if you're hitting this reading right at this point, and you're just like, I don't, there's nothing. They're just saying, yes, there is something. It's not going to be an exact match. It's not possible. And they're not trying to say they're trying to get you like some type of carbon copy, some type of clone of what you lost. But something that will fill the void and that will be suitable moving forward. Suitable. Okay, let's let this go. Because I feel like what they're telling me here is like, if you feel the way you feel, like there's nothing I can say that make you feel. Otherwise, they're just hoping you have some hope. Because what's coming up next is the third and the final door for this situation. Okay, now you've got the Eight of Wands on your side. The Wheel of the Year, which is the Wheel of Fortune in my opinion. That's how I usually read it. The next cycle's coming in. And now they're giving me Wheel of Year energy here. So, okay, next cycle coming in. All right. They're telling me, and I, I understand this with Gemini. Because you may go for a long time and just feel like things are not going to change. Things are not going to change. And it's just kind of like somebody opens the door. A breath, a breath of fresh air comes in. You have the chance to step out into the sunlight. And you're just like, you just do it. Because you're sick of sitting in this dark room. Somebody opens the door. The sunlight comes in. You just you just go right for it. You're just like I can't I can't live in this dark room anymore. I have to get out because I'm actually getting like a quick change here. You're going into this next section. You're jumping into it very fast because you can't stand living in the sadness anymore. 
So you move into the next situation, and I feel like that's when this pops in. That's when you take advantage of this. That's when you see this, and you're not convinced. And I don't even feel like you think it's going to fill that void, and that's not even what you're worried about. You're just kind of like, I can't live like this anymore. I can't feel like this anymore. So whatever that is, I'll take it. I don't even care. I need something that makes me feel better. I don't want to feel like this anymore. So you're like, I don't, you're not expecting it to fill the void or whatever. You don't even care though. You're just like, I feel better. This person, I'm happy to have them around me, whatever it is, or whatever the situation is, you're like, it's good enough. I just need to get out of this dark room. I can't take it anymore. You go towards it. I'm getting this person or situation, whatever it is, because it could be a situation, especially if we're starting this off with like a job or something like that. If it's a tangible item, like a job or something like that. Whatever it is, it's very receptive to what you want it to be. Now, I'm getting sovereignty with the Page of Swords, and I'm getting like this obser observing but also absorbing feel, absorbing what you want. Um, if it's a person, I'm actually feeling like they're going along with your emotions. They're, they're, they seem to be trying to understand what you're going through, and they're just, they seem to be very. Mealable? I want to say mealable. Is that the word I want to say? Like, they, they, they're, they're very just kind of like go with the flow feel. You know what I mean? If it's a person, they're a very go with the flow feel. What's good today is good today. What's good tomorrow might be something different. And they seem to be aware of that, that you're going through like a rocky road and up and down type path. And they're just kind of, they're rolling with it. And I'm getting sovereignty with kind of like, they're making it a safe place for you to have the emotions you need to have. Um... When you need time, when you need space, they give you space. When you need somebody there, they tend to be there. You know, they, they seem to mold with it. If it's a physical situation like a job or an item, what I'm getting is it's just kind of like it's allowing you to make it what you need it to be. And I feel like we can go 50,000 different ways with that. But whatever you need it to be, you have the ability to manipulate the situation, to change it, to move it around to what suits you best as you move forward in the next direction. So it's interesting because I feel like the reason you're stepping out of this, you're stepping into this third door, which this is the third door, is because you can't take it anymore. And you're just, you don't even care. It's not, you don't even care if it fills the void. Nothing has to be perfect at this point. You just, need, you just need some reprieve. You need a break from the sadness. Whatever it is, you lost. And you're just like, I'll take it. Whatever it is, is very, I want to say malleable. But the word isn't making sense to me in my brain right now. It, normally it would. But like it, it conforms to what you need it to be. Whatever it is, it's conforming to help you move forward. That's the sovereignty with the Page of Swords is what I'm getting. And it's just working with you best it can. And I feel like this is a healing situation. Whether it's a tangible item or it's a person, it's working with you. It's very healing. It's very helpful. And it is going to help you move on from this. And you will have better days. Because I feel like for a lot of you, that might be why you're hitting this right now. You're like, I don't feel really good about this situation. And I don't know if it'll ever be okay again. They're saying you're out headed for much better days. You just got to go through the next cycle. You got to get through that third door. And for a lot of you coming to this, they're saying when you see that third door, when you see that door crack open and you see the sunlight coming in, just go to the sunlight. Just go right into it and just live life from there. Things will feel better. You'll be able to breathe again and it'll get provingly better from there. I think we're done. All right, I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.